What's happening, Anoka? I'm Koi. And I'm CJ, and today is tu- Tuesday, March 7th. The Spring Dance Concert will be tonight at 7 p.m. in the auditorium. Come support our advanced dance students showcasing their solo and small group choreography. Questions can be brought to Ms. Marcy. Do you need service hours for a class or have a passion for helping others? If so, the Tornado Service Club is here for you. Meetings are held every Wednesday in the SSRC from 2.30 to 3.30 after school. For updates on meetings and upcoming volunteer events, follow at Tornado Service Club on Instagram. For any questions about the club, email Ms. Zabel. Hope to see you there at the next, at the next meeting. If you would like to make a change to your Tri-3 schedule, please follow these instructions. First, review the criteria and steps to follow when requesting a schedule change. Second, students must submit all schedule change requests in the schedule change request form during the window of February 27th to March 20th. If this change can be made, it will show on your schedule in student view. If the change cannot be made, you can email you. Please check both student view and your email for updates. The first BSU meeting is scheduled for, t- from, for today from 2.30 to 3.30 in room 31. If you are interested in attending, stop by Mr. Jefferson's office after school for more information. Attention all seniors who are interested in speaking at graduation and seniors honors assembly. Sign-ups will be from March 21st to March 24th in the main office. A speech will be held around five minutes in length and be schools positive in tone and as authentic to the speaker as humanly possible. Start writing now. Graduation will be here before you know it. See Mr. Lackanen in the main office with any questions. Need a prom dress? Project Fairy Godmothers is a nonprofit organization that collects new and gently used prom dresses, shoes, and accessories. They are given away to girls who may have a financial hardship pers- purchasing a dress. This year's giveaway is on April 1st in St. Paul at the MLK Re- Recreation Center. Time for a check on weather. It's looking like a snowy week, and to tell us all about it, here's Scott. Thanks, Anchors. We have snow potential in each of the next five days after today. First day will be okay with mostly cloudy skies and a high of 38 degrees. High should should stay above the freezing line for most of the week during the day, which is changing a lot of the snow totals. The big snow day looks like Thursday, where we can see anywhere from one to five inches. Basically, we can get a little or we can get a lot. That's your weather. I'm Scott. Now back to our anchors. Thanks, Scott. We now we want to now play our last staff of the week for the trimester. This time we talked with Miss K. Baby, can't you see I'm calling? Uh, what's your name? My name is Kathleen Law, and I go by Miss K here at school. All right. Uh, how long have you been working here? This is my fifth year here at Anoka High School. All right, nice. Uh, what do you do here in the building? So I am a para for special education, and I've been in the classrooms, so people have seen me in the classrooms. Um, and this year I am in the SSRC all day, and I help students in social studies classes. Right, uh, what's your favorite part about working here? Um, honestly, I love the students and I love the staff. So I just have great colleagues that I work with, and I love seeing the students in the hallways, and it's just, I just love coming here, and yeah, so students and staff. What's the best thing that's happened to you while you've been working here? Oh, that's such a hard question. Um, I, I don't, it's hard to narrow it down, but I'd have to say some favorites are, I miss being in the classroom because I love the collaboration with students and staff in the classroom, but I have to say I really love um, the curriculum of youth issues and being in there with Ms. Hoffman, so Ms. Hoffman you know crying. Students who have been in there have been crying and things like that with just um, topics that come up and it's really kind of near and dear to my heart with what um, students have to deal with, um, some issues that students deal with. Um, But other than that, just kind of having fun with staff, laughing. Um, I think you gotta gotta laugh or you gotta cry, you gotta show up and I think just being welcoming to students and saying you know, having that welcome attitude and feeling yep. that come back to me because I feel like like attracts like and you get what you put out there. So favorite memories, favorite things here. Every day I feel like something happens that I feel really good about here. Yeah. So thank you, Scott. But I still can't pay it though, but I got just enough to get off in this our thanks to Ms. K and the entire staff for their hard work this trimester. It's time once again for a check on sports and activities. Let's check in with Issa for an update. Thanks, anchors. If you're interested in playing softball this spring, the Anoka softball program is holding a player informational meeting tomorrow from 2.45 to 3.15 in the cafeteria. This meeting will give you an opportunity to meet players and coaches and learn information about the program and tryouts. 
We hope to see all new and returning players there. See Ms. Collins in room L139 if you have any questions. It's hard to believe, but spring sports are getting started soon and you must be registered in the activities office in order to participate. Check in with Mr. Wicks and Ms. Spitzka in the activities office if you have any questions. Boys basketball will look to wrap up their season on the road against Blaine tomorrow night. Varsity tips off at 7 p.m. We don't have a lot of winter sports still playing, so get out and support the team as they head towards sections. That's your look at sports and activities. I'm Issa. Now back to your anchors. Thanks, Issa. Remember, if you miss anything, be sure to subscribe to the Nunca TV News Channel on YouTube. Today's lunch is Mandarin Orange Chicken. Mm -mm -mm. Before we go, today is National Cereal Day. If you could eat one cereal for the rest of your life, what would it be? I thought you were going to say you like Raisin Bran. I like Raisin Bran a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's the news for CJ and Koi for the last time. Love you, Noka. Stay classy. Through drought and famine, natural disasters, my baby has been around for me.